Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be making menudo. It's one of my mom's recipes that, yeah, I need to know, you know? I mean, I know how to make it, but, like, I wanted to show you guys, like, just to have as memory, you know? Anyways, um, menudo is, um, the stomach's cow, which in English it's called tripe, T-R-I-P-E, if I'm correct, um, yeah, it's, a uh, a beef, beef cow, obviously, <laughs> um, for those of you that may not know, but, yeah, we're going to be cooking that today, and if you want to see more, then keep on watching, but, thank you so much for a hundred subscribers, thank you, that means a lot to me, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here today with a hundred subscribers, a hundred people watching me, oh, <laughs> with a hundred people watching me. It may not seem a lot, but to me, it's a lot because it's a hundred people, like, a hundred people, you know? And, yeah, um, thank you so much. And thank you so much for a lot of, um, showing a lot of love in my previous video that I launched my new business. Um, thank you so much for that as well. <sighs> and, yeah, guys, just, um, stay positive, be motivated or get motivated and all thanks to god for this um yeah um i want to say more but we have to get started with the video so if you like um health and beauty then don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed also if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and if you're not new a welcome and I'm also my name is Mary as you can see by the title of my YouTube name this is in my YouTube video yeah guys so let's get started with cooking menudo it's something very simple all you just need is spices and yeah how much you're gonna make so yeah okay guys let's get started Primero se lavó bien lavado con agua y se pone a remojar con limón y agua y se deja ahí un rato. ¿Cuántas patas son? Seis. Seis patas. Ew. <laughs> So right here we have our chile guajillos with water steeping for about two hours and now we are going to blend them to then put them in the pots of menudo and as you can see we have onion and garlic in there and then we'll blend okay here i'm just showing you the other ingredients that go well the condiments that go into the chile guajillo sauce the garlic the peppercorn and all that stuff i'm just showing you right here and before you start blending your chile guajillos with the water one liter of water which i mentioned before you could go and pause that okay Aquí no lo puse porque ya no me... No es cuchillo, es tenedor. 
ya no me alcanzó. Y ya le puse la sal. Se va cociendo el pasito. Ya luego va a querer el chile como a las nueve. Ok. Ya son las nueve. Pues lo puse a las ocho. Entonces ya lo quiere. Yo creía que eran, iban a ser las nueve. Entonces ya, ya lo voy a moler. La cebolla. Entonces ahorita se va a moler. Ay, ya te pelé. Y el chile va sin colar porque está bien molido. Ahora este es el libro. Es el libro que te gusta a ti. Me gusta cocerla entera y después la despedazamos. Mira. Y este es el callo. Callo y luego lleva lleva este montalay y luego lleva corralito. No sé qué tanto nombre no ponen. Si viene de una sola vaca, no sé por qué le ponen tanto nombre. Ahí va todo el chile para esta. Pero en fin. Ya es todo, ¿no? Sí. ¿Y ya cuánto más tiempo lo vas a cocinar? Una media hora. Son no, una media hora. Y Happy hour. Porque no, no lo vamos a almorzar para mañana. Porque hacerlo temprano dura, dura mucho. Y ya sí, ya está preparado para mañana. Primeramente ya. Ok, el menudo ya está. It's ready. That's the pata. Then the animal. And this is the other stuff. And this is mine. Este se llama libro. Oops. Y aquí hay tortillas hechas a mano by my mom. Yo también no sé hacerlas, pero ella las está haciendo. Y ahí lo van a poner y le van a poner aguacate. Y aquí está todo lo que se le pone a su plato de menudo. Cilantro si gustan, orégano, chile serrano, cebolla y limón y aguacate. Aquí está mi papá, está preparando su plato. Con, él come con pata también, mi hermano. Con pata. Aquí está la tortilla. Ok, como ven, aquí está mi plato de menudo. Here is my menudo. Already put in um, all these spices, ingredients. Well, not limón. Lime in English. Um, this is chile, spicy chiles. ¿Cómo se llama? Chile de árbol. Chile de árbol. I don't even know what they're called. Orégano. I put that in because, yeah. And then I put a little bit of cilantro. And I don't want to put that in. And then onion. And that's what you put in if you want avocado. But I'm not going to do that. I want to enjoy like... I want to enjoy like this. So this is menudo. This is um in Spanish it's called este ¿cómo se llama? libro and this is my favorite part of the menudo. But in English it's panza. In English it's tribe. Libro. Stomach. Stomach cow. Panza de vaca. And here are my homemade tortillas by my mommy. Chiquita. 
Okay, so let's start eating. Okay, so here's my my plate, my bowl. Let's try it. Here's my tortilla. Mm. Sabroso. Perfect for this cold weather because it's cold outside. But let's put in some meat. So, FYI, a tip the meat, we cook it usually entero, like full, because when you cook it, it shrinks. If you cut it into little pieces and that's why you can barely get any of the stomach cow and yeah let's give it a try mm. uh -huh. it's really good but it's really hot Recommend 10 out of 10. Como les decía en inglés, que mucha de la gente compra el menudo picado, o sea, la carne del menudo. La compra bien picadita en las carnicerías, pero nosotros la pedimos entera para que así cuando la cocinemos, este es sea entero y ya cuando esté lista la carne la picamos y la volvemos a poner patas en la olla y así la cortó mi papá miren en pedacitos no muy chiquitos porque no me gustan muy chiquitos o sea me gusta que sepa carne y así se come ok guys so I recommend the menudo for you guys to try it out but mostly some other people this has this is the way that i was raised to eat menudo just like this the juice and the meat usually other people eat it with hominy which is um no ni está mal but granos de pozole so yeah that's a different way of eating it which i tried it and it's good when my mom made some actually from not the canned stuff, because I don't like the canned stuff. But if I have to, then I'll eat it, you know. But yeah, um, we made it like, then está mal, lo lavamos, and everything. Like, from scratch, you know. And I added, so we had menudo that day. It was actually for my dad's birthday. We had menudo and pozole, so I combined it the two, because I'm like, I see these people, like, eating this. Like, this YouTuber shout out to less less than makeup something like that um she was having it so i'm like oh i should give it a try and i had some so i tried it and it was really good but usually i just like to enjoy my menudo by itself just like this with its juice and its meat and some condiments on the side and yeah that's how i like it so if you enjoyed watching me eat this and you want to cook it for yourself, then go to the store, but be safe, wear your mask. Um, yeah, go to the store and get yourself some menudo from the carniceria. And yeah, guys, um, I'll see you guys on my next video. Hope you enjoyed and give this recipe a try. If you do, tag me on Instagram, official Mary Sosa, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Adios.